The corn is ready to harvest, and for once it's dry enough too. So we're going to get on it with the combine. We've got some sugar beet to do as well. So a very busy day coming on Charwell. Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Charwell. Yes, it is our last visit today and it is going to be a very, very packed visit to the farm as well. Uh, we have our final cut of the corn to get done. Uh, we have sugar beet to get done as well. Plus, we've got the eggs to sell. We've got the uh, we've got uh, any pigs to sell that are uh, that are ready. And uh, yeah, just generally, we are in a position where we've got everything ready to go and get rid of. So we're going to be doing that today. Um, I'm hoping to uh, eventually get together a version of uh, what I've got set up here to give to you guys. The map I've got is a, a slightly out of date version so I'll have to convert it over. But uh, yeah, I want to leave this in a place where you guys can continue with this farm if you want to. And uh, and so, you know, it's we're not going to completely abandon it. And we're going to sell everything off. We're just going to try and see what state... Uh, we leave this farm in. Now, I am going to set this off with course play from here. So, we'll unfold the harvester. Like so. Start her up. And we'll cut in. It's the first time we've ever managed to have just a nice, clear run at this corn. That it's stayed dry at this point. I'm really, really pleased that we've we've managed to start this uh, or end this series like this. So we'll generate a course for here. We are on field 41. Uh, we want to do uh, three headlands. Starting direction automatic. We want it to go clockwise. Headlands, yes, generate. There we go. And that should pick up from where we are. Next closest waypoint, drive course. And the combine is away. Perfect. So we'll let that go. And while that's going, let's have a look at here. We need to actually put some fuel in this tractor before we go any further. I brought it all the way around here. I'm just going to take it straight back. Because, yeah, we have no fuel in this. I don't know how much fuel we got in the combine, actually. Uh, as I haven't refueled this, I'm kind of thinking... I haven't refueled the combine as well. So I will give that a check in a moment. But yeah, there it goes across the back. Oop, there's our fuel. So while that is refilling, let's just go. We have no money. Ah, right. We've got to borrow some money. We're going to have to borrow a load of money today anyway. To get through this last bit. But we should make all of it back. Combine is full of fuel. So that's all good. Right. So I'm going to head to the shop. Uh, because we need to get our stuff together. For the rest of what we're doing today. So that is going to be buying ourselves a lorry. And... Uh, getting or hiring a sugar beet harvester. We're going to need at least... Well, the sugar beet harvester is the thing I have the question mark over. We're not going to go for the biggest. We are going to go for a roper. Uh, the roper panther there. Wow. Slightly, yeah, slightly smaller uh, thing on this. And we're going to get a 60,000... Litre trailer, so that is going to be our best bet. The Panther 2, then, is what we're going to go for. To hire that is going to be 20,000 on its own. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's get this all hired and sorted. So I'm going to borrow 150,000, taking us up. I'm going to take us up to 200,000 pound in our loan. Uh, this should just be for today. 
We should clear all of this off with everything we're selling today. So this should be good. Uh, we're not selling everything at the height of its uh, value, unfortunately, um, because it is the last day. But uh, we'll see how we go. And with that done, we want to go and get our truck. Looks like our combine is full already. Wow. Okay. So uh, let's get this done quickly and we can then go and sort that out. Uh, this here holds 49,000. And is 279,000 for that. Versus 130 plus... For a 60,000 trailer, uh, we know, I oh know that can't, we do know works. That's 48,000. Yeah, we can actually get a smaller setup. 59,000. So that's the one I want. So, so that would be a hundred and, uh, that'd be about 200,000, I think, with the truck. Uh, yeah, 210 versus 279. So that's what we're going to go for is the cheaper setup because we can't afford that either way. That's actually, wow, we can't even afford. <laughs> we can't afford the trucks. Okay, so we were going to buy them. I am going to just rent this and do something a little bit different then. So we're going to rent trucks uh, and we're going to rent the other. I really wanted to buy today, but we can't. We don't have the cash to do it. So, uh, silver on the truck. In fact, I think the class red on the truck. Design color, we are going to go with the silver if we can get it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then the rim color, I'm going to make the class green. I'm not sure if I like that. Uh, let's switch the cab round to the class green and the wheels round to the class red. That is a much nicer setup. Uh, wheel brand is Trollborg, no GPS. Uh, don't need uh, a bigger engine at all. So let's lease that. It's gonna cost us 14,000 to lease that for the day. Then we want to grab ourselves a sugar beet harvester. So we're going to go with the Panther 2. Uh, no GPS because we won't be driving this. This is going to be uh, run by our uh, run by using uh, course play. Uh, and then we want a header for it. Not those kind of headers. We want a beet header. And that goes on the Panther. Yeah, so that's going to be the Panther 2 one. And that's, uh, so that's side throughout. That's not, we're going to lease the standard version of that. There we go. So we've still got 143,000 left. I am going to actually go and repay most of that loan. So let's get this back down so that we're nowhere near quite as much. Yeah, 13,000. That should cover things. Let's uh, head back over to the JCB here. And I'm going to go and empty our combine, uh, and then we can get started on the sugar beet. There we go, with our combine, getting it emptied. Not, uh, yeah. Didn't quite make it all the way around this field. We are going to have a bumper crop of corn off here. We're going to go and immediately sell this. So every time... Uh, we're full. We're going to sell it. It's got to go to which one are we heading to? So for corn, uh, we want grain sell point. I can't tell which one that is. That is the only, that is one of the few things I, I dislike on this. It's exactly, you can't always tell exactly which one it is. The lower grain sell point uh, this has got to go to. So as this fills up, we will be selling off. I want to get this out the way, so back into this corner, and then I can bring it round, and uh, and we can just park it round here, like so. So let's get the sugar beet harvester out to the field. There it is. Uh, small enough that we can uh, just hook it up here and drive it straight out. Now, my issue, we do have a small issue here where 
Ah, this header still. Getting headers out of here is fun. There we go. And fold it up. I never see driving, yeah, driving down the road like that. I mean, this is the view you'd get. There's no way you'd ever drive this down the road like that. It would have to be down. I don't think you'd ever drive it down the road with this on the front, to be honest. What I'm doing now, yeah, not not really recommended. And not an overly realistic thing. So let's get this down to the field and get it started off, I think. And we've arrived. Perfect. Let's, uh, I think, our em yeah, we empty on this side on this. So coming up to here, unfolding our harvester, start our up, Ooh, almost, takes a little while to unfold this, and in fact, no, it empties on the other side, okay, so we do want to go around this way, let's start her up, put it down, and then what we can do is having got to this point, course generation, field 43. This is a huge field for this. Headlands, I'm going to do five headlands on this because this is a big piece of kit. Headland passes first, clockwise, smooth, generator course. Yeah. This is huge and it's not very wide. There we go. And nearest waypoint drive course. And that is away. And this is going to fill up really, really quickly. We're going to spend more time uh, dealing with this than anything else today, I think. Which brings me on to our man truck. Uh, so again, we're going to be uh, immediately selling anything we get off that field uh, but we also need to sell anything else we've got today as well so uh, that is going to be our next thing to do and I'm going to be sort of flitting between everything in order to do it uh, can we get everything sold make our money back This is not a truck to try and get through this gateway, I think. And round. There we go. So, we're going to fill this up and start selling off our crops as well. So, first up, we have 54. Thankfully, we have nothing. It should be one trip for each of these, apart from the wheat. But we're going to leave some wheat in here. And while that's filling up, we're going to head back over to here. And, oh, wow, the combine nearly made it the whole way back around the field again. So that's good. Not very far that this has to go. And I'm going to alter for, the, uh, for us today. I want to alter the combine. Or how this works to... It's not going to go for very long because what I want it to do is uh, I don't want it to fill beacon lights. No, there should be a way to get it to stop unloading. Stop during unloading. Activated. There we go. Right. So back to this. And we can get it now that we just stop the tractor and let it unload. So with that set up, we should be able to just set it going and uh, unload occasionally and get it done. First load of crop to sell is the wheat. Uh, we've got 49,000, so we've got a full trailer of this. We're going to leave the rest 
uh, in our silo because uh, that would be good for chickens going forwards. So my, my intention very much is not to leave uh, an empty dead farm today. It would be that we could pick up or you could continue afterwards. Uh, so while we're not selling at the optimum time, we are selling at a uh, we're selling at a, a, an okay time. Um, but we will leave enough stuff there. We will see how much we make and we will see where we leave this farm, uh, which to me is the important bit. Our panther is already ready to empty. So once this has come down, we're going to head up to the field with this truck and get that emptied as well. 29,000 off the uh, off the wheat, which is good. Uh, that has got us nicely started. Uh, and we're going to head... Can't really turn this truck out of this way, I don't think. I'm going to give it a try, but it's not... Yeah, this little road here, not the easiest thing to get big equipment down. Might be easier to come out than it would be to go in, though. Let's just have a check. Yeah, it is. Easier to come out than in. But uh, that is uh, that is very tight. Third load off our harvester. And we're going to get this filled up. And then take this down to where we need to sell it. Which is the second grain point down the bottom. Uh, that's really good. That's This is our third headland, I think. Yeah, this is beginning to get into the body of the field. So as soon as this empties... Uh, we can go and take this and get the money in from this. And we're going to get a load of money off this. If we're already getting, uh, if we've already got our first full tank, uh, we should end up with about 30,000 off. Uh, no, sorry. I think we're going to end up with nearly 60,000 worth of corn off here, uh, which is a bumper crop of corn. So that is really good news. So let's go and get this down to the sell point and see how much we actually make off that. And the answer to that question is hopefully a fair amount. Let's tip it up and find out. And our panther is also needing emptying now as well. So running two fields at once is going to just keep us so, so busy. And ridiculously so. There we go. So nine. Wow. 20,000 litres. 9,000 pounds. Uh, we are not going to make. Uh, well, we might make 30,000 off this field if we're lucky. So hopefully uh, we'll be okay. Um, but even so, that should be enough. I think we have. How much loan do we have left? We have seventy thousand pound loan left, so we are all, we are almost there already. We can pay off the rest of this loan and be loan free, and have our harvest harvester through this last harvest. That would be perfect. Next up is our first load of sugar beet, and that needs to go into here. Uh, our panther is already full again, and it's partly because the one we got. Uh, has uh, takes 10,000 litres less than two tanks from the Panther. So we'll see how much this is worth. I'm not expecting this to be worth more than maybe five, uh, maybe 5,000 pounds if we're lucky. Uh, I'm expecting a lot of sugar beet uh, to have to be transported. To the point where I'm actually looking and going, mm, maybe, we, maybe we should uh, hire a second lorry to service the... Uh, to service the sugar beet harvester but it is going let's see how much it goes for and it is there we go 10,000 that's not bad that's not bad at all we are we are looking at getting a really good crop off of our sugar beet fields then with that um, that I'm really really happy about uh, 50,000 litres uh, giving us uh, 10,000. It is not a huge amount of money that we're getting per thousand litres, but we are getting, we are going to get a lot of loads off this field. So uh, yeah, that is awesome news. So at the moment, while our two harvesters are still beavering away, I am going to go uh, into here and get 
the eggs done. So I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna have to go and refill the JCB while in the middle of this. So I'll go and, uh, and do that in a moment. But these eggs, we need to get these sold today as well. So we'll just put them all in here. This should create yeah, we've got another full pallet that will come out of this. So we've got three full pallets. Uh, we won't be able to get all of these eggs sold because uh, you can only unload full pallets from here. But we'll unload each full pallet one at a time. Three full pallets is a decent number. There we go. And we can get this all done. And dusted. Let's get up here and get the first pallet dropped out of uh, out of this area. So to do that in here, and uh, and I think it's R. Yeah, there we go. It's R. So we can then should be able. To, yeah, here we go. So we can spawn one pallet. There we go. So that spawns a pallet. And uh, let's get that loaded up onto our trailer. Okay, this is out. And just pop into here and get this done under there. Right, so. There's so much uh, manure that we've got here. It's just an absolutely awesome amount of manure. So we've got three of these we need to fit on. So we should be able to fit those on in the middle like that. And like that. So we'll spawn a second one and get that loaded on. And, uh, and then the third. Let's get this. Strapped down first, though. Right. And then we'll go and spawn a second pallet. I do like this. This, to me, is a, is a great system. Out there. Oh, no. Remove. There we go. I only want to spawn one at a time. You can spawn them all at once, as you saw there. Uh but no, I only want to spawn them once at a time, one at a time at the moment. Ooh, let's not run over the ones that have uh, started generating again. Like so. So yeah, you can never sell off just um, a small number. You would have to get them to be, uh, you'd have to hold them back. You can't get eggs out of here. Uh, once you've put them in, unless it's part of a full pallet like this. There we are, and get that one off. One more to spawn. So we'll just back that off. We might as well throw this box of eggs in there while we're at it. And generate that. Spawn one pallet. And there we go. So we've got the beginnings of another pallet. And we've got this one spawning. And we need to get it loaded up. I think the ultimate aim of today's video is going to be to clear off the debt and leave us in the best position we can because I'm looking at our progress on our fields and our two biggest fields both are in need of uh, are gonna need more time to get harvested they are huge they we are getting a lot of stuff off them um, and I think we're not gonna be able to make it today however 
we get our stuff sold and we keep selling and uh, and we will be out of the debt before the end of this video and maybe even get the farmyard built as well there we go that is that done let's load this uh let's get this strap down i don't think there are any more straps in the middle so perfect we'll go and sell that in a moment first i think we had a problem with the combat yeah we got First, we need to go and get rid of these sugar beets because our panther is already half full again and we need to get this unloaded. And there we go. That is our second load of sugar beet. Another 10,600. We're over 72,000. So important thing I need to do now before we go any further, the panther is already needing unloading again is to pop into here switch to here and repay the rest of the loan we are now once again loan free we do have hired equipment but yep we are again loan free having got set up for today um it is a, yeah it's unfortunate that we couldn't buy this truck uh, but i don't think we're gonna end up with the money in order to do that so Let's get this back and uh, and get the Panther and, in fact, the new Holland emptied again. And then I think we're going to be selling some corn and beginning to get into profit here. Both our, tr uh, both our harvesters are now being emptied and I am going to take the Massey here and try and get this. So the problem we've got, and I remember this from last time, is that the... There's not really enough height in the cell point for this to work. So I might have to take the JCB up there, uh, up to the cell point as well. I think we have only one place where we can sell eggs. Oh, no, we have three. Uh, grain cell point, but which one is our best bet? Let's have a look. Uh, it is the lower grain cell point that's our best bet. I just hope that the... Uh, it goes a little bit higher for us to be able to do, uh, for us to be able to unload these. Uh, but yeah, time to make a bit of cash off our eggs and, uh, and see how much that adds to our total. Got the tractor down to the sell point. Will it unload these? Let's find out. If it's high enough, it will. I'm not sure it is. No. So, we're going to have to get our little skid steer down here. That's not a problem. I'm going to park this out of the way. Uh, head up to the field. Because I have a feeling that our corn is ready to be sold. Yeah, 93%. We want to get this down to the shop as well. Yeah, 93%. We want to get this down to the shop as uh, well. Uh, same sell point as our Massey is down at. So we're going to head down there. Uh, another 20,000 in the trailer. Hopefully this is going to give us a good amount as well. And, uh, and we can make some decent money off here. I'm pleased that we're into the profit and that we're going to end this series into the profit. I am I am looking at how much corn is there is left to go. And we've still got quite a lot of field to harvest. But that is nothing compared to our field of sugar beet. Uh, that panther ha is still doing the five headlands. And is no sign of getting anywhere near the end of those yet. Thankfully, there are still several days that it could be harvesting for. Uh, and I don't like leaving things halfway through. But there's not much we can do uh, with that, I don't think. Lest we go on for hours and hours and hours. You can see these are some quite long trips that we're making to get these tipped. Uh, and it's quite a... There's, there's quite a lot of corn we're getting off here and quite a lot of sugar beet. And it's the two, the two crops we have today are the two crops that take, uh, you know, that produce the most 
yield that you know you get the most number of liters off uh, and so it is a lot of back and forth a lot of uh, getting these bits done and sorted even even with me only really covering when i get a full trailer with the with the lorry that's every uh, every other trailer with the uh with this it's every third trailer it's still a lot that we uh that we end up doing there we go we're expecting about another ten thousand ish off here yeah, just under. So we'll get this back as well. Because both our New Holland and our Panther need emptying again. Pulling in with another load of sugar beet. Trying to see if I can work out how to get this to do a, a complete turn at the end here. So that we could, if we wanted, run this with course play. We're at, a, uh, we're at a position now where, yeah, ideally, the sugar beet, I, I want to run the whole thing uh, with course play. Because we're not able to get uh, there and back and keep things flowing uh, like this quite so well. So course play would be a very efficient way to run this. Another 10,655. The trouble is, you know, you loop this round here. There's not enough space to turn. So as there's not enough space to turn, I can't get course play to run this course, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, still got to be done manually uh, until the end. I think, I don't think. I think these are closed and uh, can't open them, but they are just silos. So there's no, yeah, there is no way of, uh, of doing that. Of driving through there or anything. Slightly annoying, but uh, yeah, not much you can do about it. Other than get this back up to the field. And the corn has been finished. So this is our last load. Not a lot of money off here. It's amazing how little corn is worth. Uh, it's one of those things where... Uh, yeah, this is this is why I'm amazed that the that pig food... Is actually something that is uh, it's worth more to us and I found it on other maps where I got the BGA it's worth more to us just to silage the corn and buy pig food where we're doing pigs than it is uh, for us to, to actually harvest corn like this the only reason I'm harvesting the corn uh, and I've been doing it like this uh, is basically because I don't have uh, I don't have access to the BGA on here at the moment as I said this is an older version of the map I'm using it's it's still got um, the issue where you can't buy the BGA and uh, and so I've had to to just sell the corn rather than actually uh, be able to do this uh, to, to be able to um, silage it and uh, make the money from it that way where we'd make far more money from the corn doing that uh, but uh, yeah that is the uh, that is the the long and the short of it let's get this sold and uh, and get another eight thousand take us up to thirty thousand um, but we have a lot more to come from the sugar beet uh, which has finally good news there the sugar beet harvester has finally finished the headlands and is working its way through the middle of the field here we go bringing the last load of corn in tip that out panther 2 needs to be re uh, needs to be emptied again so we'll head up there see how that's progressing not too far away and we've only made 5,000 off that last load of corn. An awful lot of sugar beet still here to go. Um, but I think we've run out of time. It is, uh, this is, this has been, uh, we've, we've done quite a lot of recording today. Uh, I guess this is going to be a fairly long video. Um, and even so, we've not finished potatoes and we've not been able to do the farm. So uh, I am going to leave it here. Uh, it's been a lot of fun here on Charwell. I've enjoyed this map. There is a new version coming, I believe, 
which is going to have the Maze Plus extension built into it. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this series. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.